There are experiences in life that you and I will find hard to understand. And yet looking back over the journey, we will find that some of life's richest blessings have come through the Valley of Tears. In John chapter 4, we find that the Lord Jesus Christ has returned from Jerusalem to Cana of Galilee, the place of his first miracle. And quite a number of the people of that neighbourhood had gone to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover and had returned, having witnessed the miracles that Jesus had done there. There was an excitement all around. And yet, in the midst of all this excitement, we are drawn to a family in deep trouble. The Bible tells us that there was a certain nobleman. In other words, he was a person of position, probably in Herod's court. But with all his wealth and all his position, we find that he's not immune from trouble. Now, the word of God tells us that he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee. Who told him we do not know? He was down in Capernaum when he heard that news. But because of his trouble, the Bible says that he went unto Jesus and besought him that he would come down and heal his son. With all his dignity, he cast it aside and pride and airs and graces. Why? Driven to the feet of Jesus because of a broken heart. His son was nigh unto death. And you know, my friends, I wonder what it will take to drive you to the feet of Jesus to call upon him to save your sin-sick soul. I have no doubt that this noble man, because of his wealth, could afford many physicians, but they were of no help to him. And so he did the wise thing. He came with his burden to Jesus. But how did the Lord Jesus Christ handle the situation? Well, the Bible tells us that this young lad was healed not through medicine. Now, it is true that oft times in the scriptures, the Lord uses means as a part of his miracle. For example, he took the loaves and fishes of the little boy to feed the 5,000 plus the women and children. He spat upon the ground and made clay and put it upon the eyes of the blind man. And then he told him to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And he did and was healed. And so the Lord Jesus, to this day, he uses doctors and medicine for the healing of our bodies. But he doesn't always use those means because he's the great physician. And so we find this father comes to the Lord Jesus. So how did he heal him? By his word, the power in his word. I wonder, have you thought about that, the power of the word of Christ? Do you remember he spake and it was done? He said, let there be light and there was light. We find indeed that there was a violent storm and the Lord Jesus was lying in the hinder part of that ship and his experienced fishermen, disciples, come to him and say, do you not care that we perish? And the Lord Jesus stood up on that boat and with a word he calmed the wind and the waves. Do you remember Lazarus was dead four days and in the grave? And yet he spoke that word and the dead man came to life and walked out of the grave. You know, the Lord Jesus, when he went back to heaven after his resurrection, there was a man who was going down the road to Damascus, full of hatred against the people of God and seeking to stamp out the testimony of the name of the Lord Jesus. And then in a moment, his life was transformed and he became a follower of Jesus Christ. How did it happen? A word from Christ. He spoke to him that day. There's mighty power in his word. Oh, I have no doubt that the doctors that came to examine that young child carefully examined him, but Jesus didn't. Why? Because he knew all about him. He knew his sickness. He knew his need. 
and he knows your heart too. And you know, the Lord Jesus didn't attend the patient. He told the father, he says, go thy way, thy son liveth. And the father immediately turned and he made his way home, claiming the promise of Christ. He believed the word of God. And my friend, as he made his way home, his servants met him and told him that their son was healed. And the father asked when, and he knew it was the same hour in which Jesus said to him, go thy way, thy son liveth. You see, a word from Christ. And the word of God says, that man himself believed and his whole house. Call upon the name of the Lord today. He'll not make you savable. He'll save you. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. From my heart to yours, home to yours. God bless you.